Welcome everyone to this video in which we are going to go through the setup of OLE dump on Windows. Now, a couple things to point out here before we get started. First is that we're not going to get into how to use OLE dump. We're only going to focus on getting it installed and set up in Windows. So if you're looking for that content, um, I would refer you to other videos in my YouTube channel as well as other resources that are just generally available across the internet. Um, in addition, if you're just looking to get started and picking a, a certain environment to get OLE dump, OLE dump and set up and installed on, then I would recommend starting with Remnix. If you're not familiar, Remnix is a Linux distribution that comes with a lot of popular malware analysis and reverse engineering tools already installed and configured. So this is a really great distro to get started using OLE dump as well as many others. All right, so for those of you that are sticking around then, what we are gonna look at is getting Remnix, or I'm sorry, getting OLE dump installed in Windows. Now, the first thing we wanna talk about is prerequisites and that you need to have Python installed in Windows. And this is not as a common thing as we get with Linux distributions. So you do need to go to python.org. You can go to the download section and then download the latest version for Windows. I have already done that, so instead of downloading again, I'm just gonna open up my download location and now we'll run the installer. Um, now, normally I would say this is a pretty straightforward setup and that you can just install, but there is one important thing I do wanna point out. Um, before we get installing, we want to check this box here that says add Python 3.8 to your path. This will make it easier so that when we open up a command prompt, we can just type in Python and because it's in the path, then the operating system will know where to find the Python executable. So that way, whenever we open up that terminal, we type in Python, we can just use it to run our scripts. If we didn't do that, then when you opened up a command prompt and type Python, it would say that it didn't recognize that particular command. And while you can certainly add path to your environment manually, um, I didn't want to go through all of that here in this video. So this is definitely the easiest way to do that. So making sure that that box is now checked, we will be able to go ahead and continue with the setup, which should only take a couple minutes. Okay, now that the setup's successful, uh, the next thing that we can do is go to Diddy or Steven's website and download the OLE dump uh, utility. Now, as is obvious by our installation of Python, we will find that OLE dump is actually a series of Python scripts. So from his website, if we scroll down a little ways here, uh, right to above the comments section, then you'll be able to find the zip to download, or at least the link to download the latest zip of the OLE dump tool. Okay, great. I downloaded that to my desktop. Next step is to go ahead and extract all those files. I'm gonna also extract these to the desktop just to keep things simple, but you can extract that to any location in your file system, in your operating system that you'd like. If you have a particular folder location, for example, where you keep all of your tools. Now, from here, we don't need the file explorer windows open. What we do want is to have a command prompt. And in addition, we wanna have a command prompt that is an elevated command prompt. So if you're not sure how to launch that, you can go to the start button in Windows, type in command. You'll see that you'll get the program that will filter there. You can then right click and run as administrator. And that's what I've done here. Once we are it, at our command prompt, uh, we can go ahead and type in Python. And what you should see is that you enter a Python interpreter, an interactive session. We don't actually need to be in there. And I guess we could have done Python V and just printed the Python version information. Either way, as long as when you type Python, you get output, then that means that during the installation, the Python interpreter did in fact get mapped to your path environment. If you had any command prompts open during the installation, close those and then open them again. And that'll remap that path environment back in. Otherwise, it doesn't happen during the installation. Okay, now we'll do a CLS and I will change desktops or change directories to my OLE dump folder. In order to execute OLE dump, we just type in python OLE dump.py. Now, you will likely find that there is one more dependency that we have to install. So right now the output is saying that uh, this program requires module OLE file. You can find information at decalage.info python OLE file and that you can use pip to install the OLE file. Now, there's a couple of ways of using pip to install. I find one of the easiest, especially on systems that maybe you don't do a lot of Python development in, is to use the command python, 
pip-m to define the module. That'll be pip. We want to install and then OLE file. And this is the reason that I'm running this as an administrator, is because if we didn't run this as an administrator, then we would get a warning or we would not be able to do the installation. Um, you may also find that your PIP version is out of date. You can go ahead and update that if you'd like via the command here that you see in, in my terminal uh, that's in sort of this orangey greenish color. Okay, um, once that dependency is met, we should be able to run OLE dump. And if we do a dash H, then you'll get output. And so the only thing that, or you'll get the help output. So now the only thing that's left is to provide it with a, with a file. And now you'll be able to begin analyzing things like malicious office documents using OLE dump on Windows. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please take care until the next time.